Hi guys, my name is Joy Hodges, um, and this is going to be a Q&A basically video about who we are, what we specialize in, and um, what we do exactly. Um, I am the CEO and co- not co-founder, <laughs> founder of Rachel's Boutique Bar, um, which originally started in 2018. just kind of stuck I wanted to make sure that it was just a site for women who are business women who love heels and love to look cute while taking care of their business um, so yeah let's get started with the first question um, what are three things you like about your current brand identity so three things that I currently love and like about my brand's identity is that we're many of few. We're not many of few, we're a few of many. So yeah, we put that back. So we're a few of many. So there's a lot of stores and a lot of retailers um, that sell shoes, but at the same time, just like competitors like Shoe Fab or Shoe Dazzle, um, which they strictly sell shoes online as well. You don't really have that many e-commerce stores just strictly selling shoes. They always want to sell accessories or sh clothing or um, just different things with the shoes that can kind of take the focus off the shoes. But my focus is just to strictly sell the heels. Just to talk about Southern Hills, no, I, personally, I really don't want to come to a shop if I'm just looking for shoes and have to like look at other things because then my focus will be taken off of the shoes and then I'll end up buying something else that I really wasn't supposed to buy in the first place. Um, my second thing that I currently uh, like about my brand identity is that it is named after me. <laughs> It's named after me. Uh, my middle name is Rachel. So I really wanted to keep the brand revolved around something of, of paying homage to me in a way. Um, I just thought it was a good idea. Uh, my third um, thing I like about my current brand identity is that it is gender neutral so that whoever you are, what whatever you identify as, you can wear this, you can wear the heel. Wear what you want to wear, it's 2020, I'm not tripping. <laughs> um, the amount of money that I want to stay under for a British boutique bar is $100,000. Especially because it's an online, um, it's an online store. Who is a decision maker in your organization? So clearly me. Um, I do like to ask people for the input, like people who are close to me, like, what do you think about this trend? What do you think about this style? Will they like this style? But ultimately, it just comes from me looking at just future seasonal trends like fall, winter, autumn, spring, summer, spring, just things like that. And I'll go off with what women typically wear, but I want to elevate it by five, you know what I'm saying? And then push it out on the website and we'll see if those do numbers. I also like to go on just a different website, look at my trending process to see how the trend from um, a certain year from January to the December, how they liked as a heel, cause they could do like kitten heels or red heels, black heels, but we like to keep it seasonal, right? So if it's fall, we wanna do colors like burgundy, orange, black, um, a little bit of yellow, but that's really for the summer. Um, and yeah, I'm out of time, but this has been fun. Um, and this is just a little bit about us and what we do. Again, we're a luxury real retail um, e-commerce store and we specialize in getting the best for less for the women on the go. And yeah, this has been it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.